Okay, the next set of directions for questions 26 through 29 state to determine whether the following can be proven to be a parallelogram. So all we're trying to prove here is that each of these shapes is a yes or a no. Is it a parallelogram or is it not a parallelogram based on just what's given? So what's given in this first shape, it is a four-sided figure and its diagonals are marked as bisecting each other. So is that a yes or a no? Is that one of my properties? That is a yes. And the reason you would put is because the diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals bisect each other. And that was one of my conditions for, for proving that a quadrilateral was a par, uh, parallelogram. All right, in number 27, what do I have? I have one set of opposite angles congruent to each other. So is that a condition? That would be a no. We need, oh, I'm going to say this, we need both pairs of opposite angles congruent. And on this one, we only, only have one set. What about number 28? Number 28 has um, one set of opposite sides congruent, another set of opposite sides congruent. Is that a yes or a no? Oh goodness, that is not a pen. This is going to be a yes. Uh, both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, and so that is in fact a parallelogram. Both pairs of opposite sides congruent. So essentially you're describing what you see in the picture and you're saying is that sufficient information to say yes it's a parallelogram or to conclude no that it's not a parallelogram based on what's given. All right, this next picture they say FG is not congruent to IH, but they say FG is parallel to IH. They also say that FI is parallel to GH. I'm going to mark that. That was written at the top, so I can put it in the picture. So is this a yes or a no? This is just the straight-up definition of a parallelogram. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides parallel. So since both sets of opposite sides are parallel, we are able to say that this is, in fact, a parallelogram. All right, the last sections for 30 through 33 says determine the most specific classification for each parallelogram, meaning we already know that all of these are parallelograms. We're trying to determine what is the most specific type I can say. So similar to what we did above, you're going to say, you're going to say what information is pictured and can I make that a special parallelogram, yes or no? We already know it's a parallelogram. We're trying to figure out the specific type. So what is pictured in number 30? we have four congruent sides marked. So by definition, that makes this shape a rhombus. It says give a reason, explain. We're gonna say because of the four congruent sides. Okay, 31 has four congruent sides again, but it also contains a right angle. Well, because it's a parallelogram, we know that this parallelogram implies that I can copy opposite angles congruent consecutive angles uh, supplementary, same side interior. So I end up getting to add all of those. So what we get to say on this one is that this is a square. Why is it a square? Because it is going to contain four congruent sides, but not just that, and four right angles. We were able to add those other right angles. So if you have one, you're gonna be able to add the other three since it says it's a parallelogram. What about number 32? Number 32 has one set of opposite sides congruent, a different set of opposite sides congruent, and one right angle. So what shape is this going to be? This is going to be a rectangle. What do we put for our reason? It's a parallelogram. Um, we don't have four congruent sides. All we have is four right angles. Because of that one right angle, we were able to add um, the other three. So this is a rectangle. It's not a square because the green and the pink pairs were not congruent. Number 33 has some numbers in it. So what is 60 plus 30? That's a 90 degree angle. All of these end up being 90 degree angles. So this ends up being a rectangle. We don't know anything about the side length, so I can't more specifically say that it's a square. All I get to say is that because it has those four right angles, I know for sure it's a rectangle. If I had more information, I might be able to say square, but I do not have that information at this time. So that is the study guide. So make sure that you know those formulas and you'll be solid for the test.